friends, welcome back to my channel. So, as you saw from the title of this video and the thumbnail, today I am back with another DIY because I've been really feeling them lately, like they're fun to make and you guys seem to enjoy them, so I'm gonna keep making them. So for today's video, I am showing you all how to make your very own DIY, oh, if I can lift it, crystal laptop case. Oh, matches my necklace. Like, of course it does. So, as with a lot of my DIYs here on YouTube, I got the idea for this off Pinterest because I saw so many photos of, like, cute as laptop cases that were all, like, right, covered in rhinestones like these. And I was like, yes, I want one of those. And I went to find it and found out that they are, at the cheapest, $200. And I was like, oh, I'm sure I can make that for cheaper. So I went online and bought all the products and it actually came out to only costing $30 in total which is so much cheaper. So as always everything I use for this video will be linked in the description box down below. And without further ado, because this camera is literally like breaking my arm, let's get into the video. Okay you guys, so to make this gorgeous laptop case you need obviously a plastic laptop case, some tweezers, E6000 glue and of course rhinestones. So don't mind the stain on my laptop there, I accidentally spilled glue on my laptop and also don't mind my nails in this video because I don't have acrylics on because one snapped off and it kills me. But anyway, I just started by peeling this gorgeous Alice in Wonderland cigar off my laptop so that you're just left with a blank space and then putting the plastic case on top. This was a top and bottom case but I only put the top part on because you these gorgeous rhinestones which by the way how good do they look in the sunlight I am going to outline the Apple uh, logo <laughs> so I just put one rhinestone on tweezers and using the E6000 glue I put a tiny little bit on top because this glue is so strong that a little really does go a long way so from there just outline the entire Apple logo and make sure you pay special attention to the logo as the outline of this can really make this laptop case look either really good or really bad so just make sure you're paying extra attention and I also outlined the first outer part of the laptop case as well and so the way I did that was just the same as with the Apple logo you just literally take some tweezers put a rhinestone on it add a little bit of E6000 glue and just keep going and you just keep going and going and going it does take quite some time I'm not gonna lie but like look at the finished result and if you watch a movie or play music in the background or anything like that the time will literally just fly by and you'll be left with this gorgeous case and now all you have to do is add this awesome case onto your laptop and that's literally all you have to do if you wanted you could keep going and fill the entire case with rhinestones but I actually ran out so I just left it as is which I think looks just as good I mean especially look at this next clip look at those rhinestones glimmering in the sunlight yes Alright you guys, that is how to make your very own DIY, oh my god, a crystal laptop case. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and also press that notification button because that's something you got to do now here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter if you want to see more of my face. I will leave all of those in the links down below and if you have any video suggestions, comments, concerns, anything, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Also, just a quick little disclaimer, the reason I am holding my camera lately instead of like setting it up like I used to isn't because I'm trying to be like another YouTuber like some of you seem to think. I actually hate holding my camera like this and I would definitely prefer to have it on a tripod stand, but my tripod stand broke and the new one is currently on its way, so until then I have to like gain muscles in my arm to hold this big ass camera. But yes, that is why I am holding it in like selfie mode, but trust me, Soon as I can get a new tripod, it will be back to the tripod. <laughs>